channel is sponsored by the Orchid Supply Store. It is literally your one-stop shop for anything and everything you could possibly need orchid related. And they even sell orchids. Use my name code Hillbilly in the code section for a 12% viewers discount. So go check them out y'all. Hey y'all, it is Paula with Hillbilly Orchids. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. I wanted to come to you guys with my Catlea uh, Canama Azazure Skies Cerulea. It is a very beautiful um, Catlea that I wanted to spotlight today. Um, not a whole lot to really tell about them. Um, this one is actually uh, Catlea Mossier crossed with um, Catlea um, Perverata and um, you see that stupid gnat flying around back there. <laughs> Ugh, me and these gnats. Anyways, um, yes, and, and the fans are off right now, so you should be able to hear me really good. But also, because the fans are off, her scent is just like, whoo, like, I'm telling you, like, I am smelling her right now, and it's so good. Just so dreamy. Such an amazing, amazing scent. Um, but I wanted to um, come to you guys, and I mean, we had to just showcase this beautiful plant. It took me a long time to get my camera in um, set up to, you know, get it in the right perspective and whatnot. But um, and it doesn't actually. She's got four blooms, but this one is just back here, kind of lonesome. Um, you don't really get to see it, but uh, yeah, she got, had four nice blooms on her this time. Uh, she's really happy in my environment, and um, that's the thing. I grow her in my controlled environment grow space under LED lights. So, uh, basically, in my grow space, she gets really high lights. Um, she gets She's really close to um, my Walmart LED lights, and um, she gets high humidity, which I'm usually around 70 or above. Um, and uh, she likes it hot. She does like, she's like a typical cat Leia. She likes it hot. Uh, this is like, uh, I think, second time she's bloomed for me. So, yeah, she's, she's just fit right in here. Uh, grows quite well with all the rest of the cat Leias. And definitely, um, you know, you can tell by the amount of blooms. She just gets better and better every year. Um she uh definitely um she like i said she likes highlight uh that was one of the things um huh i can't think of what anything else really to tell you about her there's not a whole lot uh you know like to treat her any different than any other cat Leia. but um she's definitely you know the ceruleas are um definitely a a wanted color you know they're very pretty um, this one is actually a little bluer than what the camera shows. The camera shows you kind of like a purple. She is a little more bluer in, um, with your eyes. So, unfortunately, the, the camera does not, um, I don't even have the light on her. I think she gets even lighter purple. Oh, I can't turn it on with the wider lens. I was going to try to turn it on for you. She washes out a lot more with the light. So, but yeah, unfortunately, she's one of those colors um, that the you can't really get the blue tinge because the camera doesn't allow it. So, sad, sad, because like I really wish you could see her. Really wish you could smell her as well. But, yeah, it's one of those things. But um, again, I, um, you know, my care, she just fits right in here. Um, in the evening times now, she's getting a little bit cooler temperatures because um, they're all getting the wintertime cool down. But in the summertime, she likes it hot. Um, she is in a mixture of medium uh, size Orchiata bark and uh, charcoal and perlite, and she does quite well. She's definitely, um, definitely good. Um, growing in the growing media that you know that I provide her uh, she's got roots all over the place I'll try to show you um, before we end the video and really that's 
you know, I feed her weekly, weekly. Um, that's about all. Um, I, know I feed her the three to one ratio or three to two ratio. I'm sorry, three to two ratio. The Jack's two part system, like I have been everybody else, and I think I'm pretty well going to stick with that. We're going to do it in the summertime too, but I'm going to up up it in the summertime. But um, but yeah, she's definitely definitely a nice nice cerulea. Um, and she would be, you know, really, she's not hard to take care of, not at all. She doesn't seem any fussier than any of the other cat layers or anything. Um, like I said, just provide her really high light, provide her uh, the proper nutrients and the proper humidity, and this is what you get. Um, I don't, I don't usually have much issues growing cat layers. I've got one cat layer that has not bloomed for me in 10 years, and I want to just kick it outside. <laughs> <laughs> which I did actually I kicked it outside during the summer and I brought it back in but I really think maybe I should have left it out there for like a massive cool down but I didn't do it so um, yeah but that's the Hawaiian Ruby which that's a whole other subject never 10 years that thing will not bloom it's so annoying and I've done everything under the Sun I know to do so yeah so that's what I'm saying it's, she's not not fussy at all like some plants can be um, I really think she's a, she's a really good addition to anybody's collection. Um, I think she's pretty well available. I have seen places, um, have her and I have seen her on eBay, um, as well. So, um, she's, she's readily available. You can get her, um, nice, real nice addition to anybody's collection. So if you like Cat Leia's, she's a good one to have. She's pretty compact, as you can see. Uh, just tall. She's definitely, she doesn't take up a lot of width space, but she's tall. She definitely gets tall, and her spike is pretty tall as well. Um, you know, I mean, it does, it's leaned over a little bit, but um, it's definitely a long spike. So, um, really, that's about all um, All I have to say about uh, Azazia Sky. See, and you see her roots, and... Um, she definitely does quite well, and uh, yeah, her roots are, I don't know if I can pick up the pot or not. <sighs> yep. So, yeah, she grows quite well, and uh, she's a very beautiful, very beautiful, nice plant to have. And I think I got her off whack now, I do. Somehow, I didn't move the thing, but I moved her, I guess. So I'll just take her off of there, you guys. So, there you guys go. That is my spotlight on the beautiful, beautiful Canama Azazia Sky. There's the fourth one hiding over there. And there you guys go. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And with that said, I appreciate each and every one of you beautiful, wonderful people stopping by and hanging out with me. And bye for now, y'all. Till we meet again.